Yes, I think uh, we stopped with this. If we found that the writer was a very small boy, William Douglas, and at that time he had uh, been swept by a wave and he got scared. And the second incident misadventure was when he went to the YMCA pool, which he meant, which was safe. Uh, he wanted to learn proper swimming. Then again, a big bruiser boy just dumped him into the swimming pool and he tried and tried to come up. He was not able to come though his mind was very active and he thought of coming up to the surface of the water and then lie flat and paddle to the um, side of the swimming pool. It was not possible and slowly he was losing consciousness and then he says that there was no more fear or terror that he lost everything and he went to sleep. When he woke, his, uh, woke up or when he became conscious, he saw that he was lying upside down, his stomach beside the pool and then he was trying, he was vomiting and people told that it was just, it was just kidding but the kid nearly died and he was taken to the locker's room, locker room and then this incident made him very weak mentally and whenever he thought of that he was trembling with fear and he says that his knees would wobble means it was not steady and he would feel so uh, fear it was so fearful or he calls it as a haunting fear he calls it as a haunting fear that was in my heart so even the slightest exertion so this always happens with us that once you get scared of something uh, then repeatedly when that whenever you think about that thought same way you lose your you even though you are not in that field situation the thinking itself may put you down with energy and will not allow you to be normal so this is a very normal factor for every human being so here William Douglas is sharing how he was scared and then how he was able to uh, I mean he was he was sustaining that fear for a long time now how did he overcome his fear is the next question now we'll go to the next uh, a, years, a few years later, when I came to know the waters of the Cascades, I wanted to get down, get into them. And whenever I did, whether I was wading the Titan or bumping river or bathing in the warm lake of the goat rocks, the terror that had seized me in the pool would come back. It would take possession of me completely. My legs would become paralyzed. Icy horror would grab my heart. So what he says a few years later, so maybe he after after his 20s when he was, uh, he wanted to go to the waters. You know that in uh, foreign countries going to the lake or going to the river, having a canoe and then moving into the waters or involving oneself in an adventurous activities it's a very common factor in foreign countries. So you find that he says the whenever he went to those rivers where the waterfalls were there, the moment he saw the water, even if it happened to be a safe one, he says the terror that had seized me in the pool would come back. So the terror had held him so much that he, it will not allow him to move further. It would take possession of me completely. He's saying it is taking possession. Taking possession means not allowing him to think or involve physically in any of the water activities. My legs would become paralyzed. He says, see, bit by bit, so that terror, how he is describing, you see, his legs would become paralyzed. I see horror would grab my heart. Now, I see horror means freezing, total freezing. And he's not able to think, he's not a, having any guts to do anything. So this is what he's explaining as the terror, how the terror had seized him. And it had taken complete possession 
not allowing him to involve into any of the water sport activities. This handicap stayed with me as the years rolled by in canoes and on many lakes fishing and landlocked salmon, bash fishing in the New Hampshire, trout fishing on the deciduous and metolnius in Oregon, fishing for salmon on the Columbia at Bumping Lake in the Cascades. Whenever, wherever I went, the haunting fear of the water followed me. It ruined my fishing trips, deprived me of the joy of canoeing, boating and swimming. So it's a very common sport. Canoeing means a single boat where you take and go. And uh, fishing is a very common activity where you feel successful that you are good at fishing. And it's a good adventurous sport. And uh, it, it's very common in the foreign countries. But I have seen even in Kankir, wherever water stagnant is there, there are some fellows sitting and then trying to catch fish. So that is also possible. So a uh, fishing trip. So he was deprived of all these pleasures of enjoying swimming, boating and fishing. Now he has to overcome this fear. Otherwise it's going to be with him for a long time. Now, whenever you have some fear, for example, Max, Max is a subject where you are so scared of or you're not able to do. For example, I'm telling, there are few students who are frightened of Max one day. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to remove the fear. You have to go to a proper person for getting the coaching or training. And if that person is successful in training you bit by bit, bit by bit, it then the fear may go and you may be successful. In many of the students' cases, it has happened. And even for languages also. Now you you children don't speak English. You are, you are not comfortable. You feel that you are wrong. You you are, you don't have confidence. Actually, you are good at English. You can speak, but uh, something uh, prevents you to speak. So how will you do it anyway? Without speaking English, you're not going to get any job in future. Whether you're going to be a, a doctor, you're going to be an engineer, or you're going to be a architecture or you're going to take up any profession okay english is very compulsory so in that case what will you have to do maybe after three four years you will if you continue with the same fear you have this haunting fear with you of not speaking english then you will have to go to a proper communication uh, skill center where they are training you bit by bit slowly 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 removing the fear that is in you and then they may make you maybe it doesn't it happens in 30 days or it happens in three months but you will have to pay and you will have to get any way you have to overcome the fear to achieve success so we find that the same way this uh, writer or william douglas also had to follow certain rules now you have a video to watch you just watch this here you will know how the person is learning to swim okay so it is a step by step procedure you can see how to survive in deep water you can find that the the person is holding the edge of the uh, there is an edge bar and he is holding and then he is putting his legs down, he's feeling comfortable, he's exhaling through the nose and mouth when he comes up. So these are all the instructions. So you inhale and then again you get inside and exhale the water. You're not supposed to drink it. So these instructions are given. These are this is a training session that is given to you when if you have if you go to a swimming pool. So you can find that he's exhaling and the bubbles are coming outside. Okay, so he comes up and then he is trying to push the waters or he is trying to push the legs. So you must know how to swim. So this is one. So practice your kicks and he is doing it. So maybe four times, five times or ten counts you have. Initially you start with one or two and then slowly you build up. Then again exhale. Uh, you make now you make it deeper and bit longer. You have to increase the duration. This is a 
simple training this lesson teaches you how to overcome any kind of fear so bit by bit bit by bit you will have to do so here you see next now he has left his one arm and then he is again trying to kick his legs and push his arms so you find that he is trying one two three third action with the exhaling also so his legs his hands and his mouth exhaling is also then he is tired he is taking rest and now he is doing with the other left hand so you find that the the way you practice slowly 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 you practice only then you can become perfect in your work for some of the children it is a uh, god's blessing with one take they are able to do it but for many it is we have to go by practice okay so it's not that only the one who is blessed by god can do no even anybody can do any work once you start practice so now you find that he has left both the hands and then he is kicking kick moving the hands legs then exhaling all actions going on and then he is moving so he is of course close to the edge of the swimming pool so that he doesn't get drowned so if you feel that you are sinking when you don't make any movements you feel that you are sinking then you have to hold do the upward movement how is the upward movement done yes he just comes down touches practice a jumping technique to remove the fear you see i told you know the other day you just touch touch and then with the same one you will be pushed up upwards you touch and then just you see he is going up so his face is going above so this is the technique taught for the swimmers where you can practice it like this and it's so nice that you can learn swimming so we'll go to the next i used to i used every way i knew to overcome this but it held me firmly in its grip finally one october i decided to get an instructor and learn to swim i went to a pool and practiced 5 days a week so you see he uh, i used every way every way to overcome so this determination is required in every child if you have to win you will have to see to that you you find any way to come up you have one tuition masters you have two people or you struggle more than 3 hours or 4 hours with the same subject and then you try to get more marks so that determination is very much important so he says that i use every way i knew to overcome this fear but it held me firmly in its grip it was not possible our thoughts our actions it was not sufficient then finally he decided that he would go to an instructor this is how he had learned swimming he had gone to the instructor and learned to swim i went to a pool and practiced 5 days a week now you see how many days 5 days 7 days are there in that 5 days he practiced and hour each day so the time duration is also 1 hour the instructor put a belt around me a rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran over overhead cable he held on the end of the rope and we went back and forth back and forth across the pool hour after hour day after day week after week on each trip across the pool a bit of the panic seized me so the panic was there he says that the instructor see he is an adult he is an adult who is going to learn the swimming if a 5 year old boy goes to a swimming pool if you had ever seen the the trainer will just hold him on his chest and stomach and he'll say yes now kick your legs and then he will say you move your hands he'll be giving instruction lift your head and then slowly he'll drop him down and in the water then he'll slowly put So that way he can he can hold the child but in an adult case is it possible no 
so what he did was he used a pulley now what is this a pulley that ran over you are all science students you must be knowing a pulley and here let me see the picture is available yes here you can see the pulley you here you can see the pulley here you see the man is here he is just he is uh, holding at the one end and the round one is a pulley and then you have the load down so maybe the swimmer was here and the instructor was standing this side and slowly he used to push him down and then take him up so this way he was able to make him get into the waters without fear on each trip across the pool a bit of the panic seized me now panic you see suddenly you cannot remove fear that is why uh, right from the beginning we say don't be afraid don't be afraid uh, nobody should terrorize okay some of them say that they are so scared when i speak that fear should not be there you have regards you admire the person you have regards for the person you respect the person but fear is something which obstructs your achievement so you should never think that it's fearful why should you be fearful when you are not able to succeed so what should you do what step you have to take to succeed that you have to think upon so once you think that this yes this is the gap let me bridge the gap then i think you will there the word fear itself will not be there in the dictionary so you have to bridge the gap and remove the fear so he says the panic seized me and slowly slowly see holding through the pulley he is saying if he, if he, if the instructor is finding him uh, not uh, in a comfortable position immediately he can lift him up so he says that uh, the look at the way he says that uh, bit by bit hour after hour day after day week after week that means in small durations it was increased small 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 duration it started only increase and then he was last is hold on the rope i went under some of the old teller teller returned and my legs froze now legs froze means the the moment you are afraid you are not your physical activity also stops that we should not be scared of it so the fear was gone and then his legs froze it was 3 months before the tension began to slack then he taught me to put my under water and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale so this is again a technique where you had to put your water under water so he was teaching one by one one by one so how he has to inhale how he has to exhale exhale only inside the water inhale when he raises his face and nose upwards i repeated the exercise hundreds of times you see not once or twice so one you have you should overcome the fear you have to do it means strenuous practice hard work is essential so he says around 100 times he used to do the exercise and bit by bit i shed part of the panic and that sees that sees me when my head went under water so he calls it as bit by bit means every slice okay every slice he had to shed part and then what happened next he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs so coming to the side of the pool holding the edge and then uh, kicking the legs for weeks i did just that you so you found that the in the video the person who was learning swimming he was holding for few minutes and then kicking so he says that for weeks it was not a days work or a, a weeks work he say for weeks for many weeks he tried to doing the same thing at first my legs refused to work but they gradually relaxed and finally i could command them so legs refused to work means once you have the fear earlier he says 
when the pan when he was in panic situation or the terror came back his legs froze so it refu he calls it here as his refu legs refused to work why because of the fear so slowly gradually it got relaxed and went away and finally i could command them thus piece by piece he built a swimmer and when he had perfected each piece he put them together into an integrated wall in april now you can swim dive off and swim at the length of the pool crawl stroke so he joined the classes in october and till april he was doing and april the, the instructor told yes now you can do it independently so we always wait for the instructor to say yes you can do it then you have the confidence until then you are not confident okay so he asked him to dive now what happened i did the instructor was finished that's all once the training is over the instructor and the person who got trained they don't have any relation but i was not finished i still wondered if i would be terror stricken when i was alone in the pool i tried it i swam the length up and down now he is saying he uh, all alone whether he, he can do it or not so that's terror now he again he calls it as terror stricken when i was alone in the pool i tried it i swam the length up and down so he swam up tiny vestiges of the old terror would return of course that fear did not go completely it was now and then coming but now i could frown and say that to that terror trying to scare me a hey, well here's to you look and off i i did go for and the length of the pool so he just said oh terror you just go away i don't try to scare me i can do it myself yes i can go and the length so he was so confident and he tried this went on until july but i was still not satisfied i was not sure that all the terror had left so i went to lake wentworth in hampshire new hampshire dived off a dock at tricks island and swam 2 miles across the lake to stamp act island i swam the crawl breaststroke side stroke and backstroke once only once did the terror return now you can see the picture of the trek silent and the beach and you can see people all uh, swimming and taking bath so they he swam across from one end to the other when i was in the middle of the lake i put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water so he just put he tried slowly to put in put his wall head inside and see whether he was comfortable yes the old sensation returned in miniature miniature means now that fear had reduced and maybe here and there sometimes he used to remember otherwise he did not i i laughed and said well mr terror what do you think you can do to me i fled and swam on so he swam on now coming to the last part of the lesson yet i had residual doubts at my first opportunity i hurried west went up to the titon to conrad meadows up the conrad greek creek trail to mead glacier and camped in the high meadows by the side of the warm lake now you see the picture you have got the glaciers then the tree and the lake uh, this is a very common sight if you see the in the himalayas we have this adventurous trekking from shimla there are dun side and uh, here even to himalayas if you see this trekking is possible so you have to maybe you will have to pay some money and then you will have to practice it so here this is in america and he is saying that these are the places he mentions so the meadows you maybe you have to walk a long distance this trail uh, is something like walking long distance by 
walk, then uh, you horse ride, and then they have camps, they cannot return immediately, they tent and then they stay, then they uh, eat natural food and then they come. So this is a very common thing. So like that he tried. The next morning I stripped, dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back, just as dog Corpen used to do. So maybe another person also used to do. Same way he also tried going swimming, uh, going across and then coming back. I shouted with joy and Gilbert Peak returned the echo. So he says that uh, well, he shouted when he shouted with joy, the peak, Gilbert Peak, nobody could, could go there, but the peak was echoing. I had conquered my fear of water. So now he declares that he has conquered his fear. The experience had a deep meaning for me. Now, as only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate. In death, there is peace. There, there is terror only in the fear of death, as Roosevelt knew when he said, all we have to fear is fear itself. Now, here you see the Conrad Meadows. He says that he was able to overcome the fear. Now here you can see the meadows go by horse riding, a long stretch of grassland. Then you have the peak. It's a very common adventure sport. Here you can find the glaciers. Here and there you have waters. Stagnant. It's an adventurous sport. This is very common. If you go to Shimla, when I went to Shimla, I saw it's it's very common. They are doing it. You can also go for a walk, go for a horse ride. Okay, adventurous trekking. So all these pleasures you can have. If you are scared, then you cannot even go for a horse riding. You can see it's so beautiful to see the natural scenery, the mountains, the trees, the complete serene atmosphere. The climate is so good that you enjoy. You find the waterfalls. You can hear the waters when it is flowing, the sound, the trickling sound of the water and the clear still water which reflects whatever is on the earth can see it's very clear and these are some of the pleasures that normally uh, we have to have once in a while uh, to plan for a trekking and then you will have to so you can see the lake and it's something interesting now he says that he had enjoyed all these things and this made glacier he mentions. Now here you see this. Mead glacier. You know glacier we were doing um, the lesson is uh, Antarctica. So here you can find how the, uh, it's all on the peak. It is is aerial view from the top. They had taken the mountains, the glaciers, all deposited. So fine nature is so beautiful that we are not supposed to harm nature at any cost. We enjoy nature and we come back. Only then nature will allow us to survive safely. So you can see the glaciers. Wow, so beautiful it is. Okay, just like our Mount Kailash. Yes. And uh, I don't know if this is also the same one. This is the Gilbert Peak. Same thing, I believe. Yes, same thing. Okay. Now, 
at last. So he says that we are not supposed to be afraid. The terror is, there is terror only in the fear of death. And as Roosevelt knew what he said, all we have to fear is fear itself. Because I had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce. The will to live somehow grew in intensity. At last I felt realized free to walk the trials and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear. So he was able to participate in every adventure sport once he was able to overcome fear and drive away fear. So now we come to the end of the lesson. And now let us have a very short interactive class. Okay, I'll stop recording.